Question 1. Both calcium carbonate and barium carbonate decompose when heated to form the uh, metal oxide and a gas. Okay, part A. Write an equation for the thermal decomposition of calcium carbonate. Okay, this one is very easy. Calcium carbonate uh, will decompose to form calcium oxide and CO2 gas. Okay, part B. State which of calcium carbonate and uh, barium carbonate decompose at lower temperature. Uh, so this one you need to uh, relate to the ionic radius. Uh, eventually, the polarization of the cations uh, to the anion. Uh, the compound that decompose at lower temperature is calcium carbonate. Okay, why? Okay, because calcium ion, uh, when we com when it's compared to this uh, barium ion, calcium uh, ion is a smaller ionic radius, smaller size, and the charge is uh, too positive, same as the barium ion. Okay, which means the calcium ion. Uh, it has a greater charge density and uh, eventually it can polarize or distort the electron crowd in the carbonate small. When the carbonate is get distorted or polarized, then the CO bond inside this carbonate uh, it will be uh, easier to break or it's get weakened. When it's easy to break means uh, it actually needs lower temperature. Uh, so that's the uh, that's the things that you must uh, relate ionic radius and polarization of the anion. Okay, the anion in this uh, question is a carbonate. Part C calcium oxide reacts with water to form uh, compound A. Uh, so it's uh, obviously calcium hydroxide. Calcium oxide with water from calcium hydroxide. Barium oxide reacts with water to form compound B. Uh, so it's a barium hydroxide. Okay, ident identify A. Uh, a is the calcium hydroxide. Now explain why A means the calcium hydroxide is less soluble than B. Uh, obviously, this is the, the solubilities of the group 2 hydroxide. Uh, you can just use the, the ordinary uh, explanations that I discussed before this. Uh, so it's actually, uh, it can be used in this question. Okay. Because this question is uh, slightly different uh, than uh, before. Uh, normally, they will ask the solubilities of this uh, hydroxide uh, down the group, down the group two, and uh, the the normal uh, or the this uh, ordinary explanation is um, when down the groups the hydration enthalpy and the lattice energy they both uh, uh, decreases or both uh, uh, become less exo, and uh, then we need to mention which one change more. So the latest energy will change more. Eventually, the delta X solution down the group will become more exo. Uh, this is the ordinary um, explanation for this group two hydroxide uh, solubility. So, uh, if we want to uh, focus more on the A, the calcium hydroxide, so we can slightly change the explanation, but the, the meaning is still the same. Uh, so, the solubility of calcium hydroxide uh, is. Uh, is uh, lesser or is uh, uh, lower because uh, only only one thing the enthalpy change of solution is uh, less exo or more endo that's the reason so what is the factors that affects the delta X solution of the calcium hydroxide is less exo or more endo uh, so back to the the latest energy and hydrogen enthalpy this is still the one you need to explain. Uh, so down the group, because latest energy change is more than the hydrogen in uh, So uh, okay, let's look at the value uh, to uh, to understand better. Uh, if we compare the enthalpy change of the solutions for this uh, calcium hydroxide and barium hydroxide, uh, is actually contributed by the hydrogen enthalpy, this one, and the latest energy. So for the calcium hydroxide, uh, the hydration enthalpy uh, is uh, negative uh, 2482 and uh, latest energy is negative 2628. So it's obviously more exo than the barium hydroxide. So means down the group, um, group 2, the, uh, this uh, hydration enthalpy and latest energy, they, they both decreases. Means uh, uh, is from negative 2482 now it's become negative 2048 so it's uh, it's changed la. so we say that it become less exo 
Um, then, which one is actually decreased more? Uh, so if we compare the uh, these two enthalpy, uh, obviously the latest energy decreased more or is changed more. So it's about 575 and the hydrogen enthalpy is just about 400 something. So because it's changed more, then you can see the uh, hydrogen enthalpy in the barium hydroxide uh, is actually plus a smaller value as compared to the calcium hydroxide here, the latest energy. So because uh, this hydrogen enthalpy plus a smaller value, so eventually it becomes uh, more exo. Uh, and uh, because the calcium hydroxide here, the hydrogen enthalpy plus a larger value, so it's uh, uh, more endo or, or less exo. Uh, so this, this one is uh, the relations between them. Uh, so if you want to explain uh, about the calcium hydroxide, can you can start from this point. Uh, because calcium hydroxide is, has more exothermic latest energy and uh, hydrogen LB. Uh, actually, it's, uh, it's similar to down the group. Down the group uh, is less exo. Uh, that's a meaning. And uh, yeah, down the group, latest energy change more than hydrogen LB. I told you just now, okay, it's about 500 and 400 something. And uh, because of this change, then the enthalpy change of solution uh, is uh, less exo uh, for the calcium hydroxide compared to this barium hydroxide. Yeah, obviously, see, because of this change. Uh, so that's the relations and the explanation. Uh, if you still not really clear about the the uh, new explanation here, you can just follow the previous uh, explanations uh, that I did before. Okay, thank you.